Hope everybody's having a good day today. Dreamed two dreams last night. This is July 3rd, 2018. And I don't think this is a good sign. I will just be honest about it, but nevertheless, I'm going to tell what I dreamed and not add or take away from it. And the first dream I had was I dreamed that California, you know, specifically California, was furious about ICE and that they wanted to abolish ICE. And then I dreamed everything was real icy. You know, all the emotions were icy, the spiritual stuff was icy, and California was just gone mad. I mean, everybody was just in chaos and everything just went mad. And it was over many other things as well. And then in the dream, you know, thing about being mad about all these children, it, it, it was just everything. It just went absolute mad. You know, and... And everything in the government, you know, went mad, you know, as well. And, you know, like I see some scene, I'm out in a field and, you know, everything is just real hostile. And then it change, changes to, I'm in a vehicle that's just parked in that field, but I'm inside. You know, while the state of California was going mad and doing their stuff and, then the radio, just all of a sudden, when I got in the truck and it was quiet, just started playing this song. The name of the song was by the band Foreigner. You're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice our love. And then it said, you never take advice. Someday you'll pay the price, I know. And, you know, and then I woke up. That was the first dream. The second dream, I dreamed that I was at a lake and it was in California. And me and one other person were swimming. And you know, there was a pontoon boat that was beside us. We were in the water and I was looking up at the pontoon boat and there was like a dock or something that went out into the lake and the pontoon boat was right beside it and we were swimming right off the end of the dock in the dream. And you know the people in the boat were just gone mad like they were just furious you know about everything that had happened. Well then all of a sudden I saw a copperhead snake like five foot long it was a big one and it was very angry you know what the people on the boat yeah i'm saying that the copperhead snake was in the boat with them and it was coiling and moving around and the snake was moving around violently the the copperhead was and i was in the water and then i said to the other person you know, in the water, and then I looked up at the boat and said very sternly, that's very poisonous. And they kept dancing on the boat, you know, like gone mad, but they still kept dancing and partying, you know, on the boat as if nothing was amiss and nothing was wrong. And... Then it was trying to bite, you know, the people on the boat and that were standing on the dock. Then mad, it jumped off into the water. And the body, you know, as it went in over my head trying to jump to get away because it was angry, the body hit me and I was never bitten or hurt in any way. But boy, did the ones partying and all the stuff you know about icy stuff and you know ice came up again and you know they did get hurt by the copperhead and the ones on the boat the ones on the dock and 
you know, they did wind up getting hurt by the copperhead, and it was trying to get out of my way, and, you know, wasn't trying to bite me. It was just trying to get gone because it didn't like something about me. And and the lake was real dark water. And, you know, the water was just calm as it could be. And neither one of us swimming ever got hurt. And the snake was just furiously angry at California, I remember. And... California was where I was in the second dream, and and this dream is pretty straightforward. Well, just the party, and you know, it's, it's just symbolic, you know, of America going on as if nothing's amiss and staying in a routine, and and you know, ice means spiritually cold, and you know, it can mean. I guess the other ice that's down at the border, I don't even know what the ice at the border even stands for. It stands for something, but I just know things in America had gotten spiritually cold and America was far away from God and as cold as ice. And partying as if nothing was wrong and Copper or brass, you know, represents the world. And then, you know, the head, you know, represents, you know, government. And, you know, with all the wickedness and stuff, it gotten, you know, very toxic and, you know, hostile and stuff like that. And, you know, the devil was a serpent. And, you know, he's the god of this world, you know, a copperhead. And, California, you know, was the head of gold. You know, they have the Golden Gate Bridge, the Golden State. California is the head of gold. And, you know, that was when Daniel saw the image. You know, it was the head of gold. The word California is not in the Bible, but the head of gold was Babylon, you know, is what it represented. And... Daniel 7, 4, you know, where the wings were plucked, you know, and the things like that, you know, that refers to Babylon. And it being dark water, you know, represents, you know, that's, you know, from the kingdom of darkness, that's a time of trial, time of trouble. <clears throat> and, you know, everything just gone mad, you know, represents a nation that's forgotten God. Psalm 9, 17, you know, that psalm tells you what happens to a nation that forgets God, and that's pretty straightforward. Sadly, you look at all the foreign stuff, you know, tearing through everything, and, and, that song, You're As Cold As Ice, that's just straightforward, you know, literally for what it says. And, and you know, the serpent, you know, copperhead snake being angry on the boat and everything else, you know, the boat usually represents, you know, a ministry vessel and, you know, the devil has got into that and... And, you know, the devil, you know, was angry, you know, and lunging and snapping and hissing, you know, trying to seek to devour, you know, whoever he can devour. And, you know, America's forgotten God and it's gone mad. And those are the sadly two very negative dreams I had last night, but I told you what a dream. I didn't add to it and I didn't take away from it. That's my conviction of what the dreams mean, but always go seek God, don't seek Chad. I'm not perfect. And I hope everybody has a blessed day and their day and their relationship with God will yield things and outcomes better than that and they'll let God back in their life. Hope everybody has a blessed day.